Hi and welcome to Tech Talk. Today we're having a look at the LG G Flex 2 from Vodafone and today is my review of the product. So I've had the product now for nearly close to two weeks. Very nice, very different product. Very nice to see that curved display. I've got a feeling we're going to see this more on other phones from Samsung and maybe iPhone in a good five years time as they like to play catch up. So the curved screen to start off with is a 5.5 inch diagonal screen there. It's not very thick either, it's only 8 0.9 millimeters thick there, so it's not very thick phone. But the viewing is great for videos, it's really great. For texting, it's not too good. I don't like it on that curved screen. It feels a little bit different to me. Let me know what you think down below. So first of all, our home screen here. So we have our main buttons here. We have our three capacitive touch buttons. So starting off with our menu button here, you can see we can dismiss one application or dismiss all by that clear all. There we go. Touching and holding that button will bring up different information. Let me just touch and hold this and we can set different things as well. So, so touching and holding that menu button there, you're going to get some different options. So here we can change our theme, we can change our home screen settings, our lock screen settings and system settings as well. So it's nice to see. We've got our home button here as well, which is always going to take us home. Pressing and holding that will take us to Google Now where you can get information and you've got your back button as well that will always get about trouble. Okay, sliding down from the top is gonna to bring in our notification area and our widgets area. So we've got our notifications here and we've got our different widgets here that where Wi-Fi, our airplane mode or brightness as well, we can change and our music volume. Very good to see here. So looking around the phone on the bottom there, you're gonna see your micro USB charging port and a microphone as well and a 3.5 jack. On the edges there are nothing, at the top all you're going to find is an IR blaster and on the back you're going to find your 13 megapixel camera, your dual tone flash and your laser or focus there as well. So on the back you've got your power button and sleep wake and you've got your volume up and down as well. So with the wake screen here you can open it different ways, so say it's like this, knock it and you can open it and wake it up or you can slide to wake as well there. On the home screen as well, you're going to find different applications that you can go into and also you're going to show your latest notifications. Gaming on the device is very good, very different. I played some games, I played Subway Surfer. Curved screen, it does add that little bonus extra. I did do sound and vision test as well, go and check that out. But overall, I do like this phone. So star rating, I'm going to give it 3 out of 5. Let me know what you think down below. I'm only giving it that score because the curved screen to me I think it's more a gimmick more than anything I don't think we're going to see that on any of our other new major phones I know Samsung are bringing in a flip phone again which we'll have to review very shortly please let me know what you think down below comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye for now